Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Time is a charm. It always <laughs> is. Welcome to Drinking Bros. D'Anthony, are you aware that we're in the presence of greatness? Yeah, I'm uncomfortable because of how classy this woman is and how much of dirtbags you and I are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't even feel like we deserve you on this show. Uh, for, for the audio listeners at home, um, I would definitely subscribe to YouTube for this one. We've got supermodel Angie Everhart on the show in the house. today. My God, this is, this is a childhood dream come true. You are my <laughs> lady. Funny. Well, you're from Ohio. I'm from Ohio. Yeah. Well, I went to Ohio State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not from Ohio. I'll say whatever. Well, I see the Buckeyes. You I see oh, yeah, yeah. Die hard. Die There's hard Ohio some State Buckeyes fan. on the table over there. Yeah, die point. hard Ohio State fan. But, uh, man, I would say whatever you need me to say at this moment. <laughs> you, you really were the girl. Like, that, awesome. that was it. That's cool. Sports Illustrated swimsuit. That yes. was, we Four waited. Times. Yes, four times. Mm -hmm. And we waited for that to get to the house. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say what we did with it. I know. <laughs> but once it came to the house, I Yikes. was really amped that it was in the mailbox. Because um, that was the time where it was like, hey, uh, porn wasn't prevalent for dudes. Like I said, it, you know, we didn't have the internet like it is today where it's just right. like you could go into somebody's Twitter and see porn or whatever. Right. It was Sports Illustrated yeah. Swimsuit Edition. It was a big deal. Huge deal. It was a big deal. But, you know, we also had to look like that. Yeah. So we, we were a generation of, of women who really, uh, you know, I was amongst girls that were, that were one more beautiful than the next. Yeah, it was crazy because, like, the crop that you were in was, mm -hmm. like, uh, legendary still to this day. You were legendary still to Cindy this day. Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford. Yep. Claudia Schaefer. Ooh. But you were the first, uh, like, red-haired I was supermodel, the only right? redhead. Yeah. Like, literally, you're credited as being like the first redhead yes. supermodel. Yes. Uh, has, are there any now? I don't even know. Does anybody keep up with that shit anymore? No. You know what they're doing now? They're, they're they dye their hair. They're, they're mucking it up. They're dirty in the whole industry. Uh, Victoria's Secret just, just signed a, a trans model on yes. uh, yesterday or the day before. Mm -hmm. And to me personally, it's like I, I understand that it's a secret, right? Of Victoria, um, <laughs> and they, that you have to have some new secret out there, and congratulations, it's probably a penis, um, and that's fine, right? But right. if you're going to wear women's lingerie and all that other stuff, like, you're expecting something different. Like, it would be like me showing up in a bra ad. You'd be like, come on, Ross. You're, you're a dude. Like, that doesn't make sense. Well, I want to see old school classic ladies. I just think whatever tickles your pickle. Yeah. Do you, do you have a comment on the state of, of all of that today, you think? What's going on? I'm glad I lived in the generation that I lived in, you know, where, where it was all about beauty and, and women and just one. You know, I remember sitting in the Chanel show, and this is my, my made it moment. And I sat down as Carl Lagerfeld's walking around, and I'm telling you, I was in the presence of. 50 of the world's most beautiful, successful women. And I just sat down, crossed my legs, and took it in. And yeah. I was like, oh, you know, I, I really. And they were like, what are you doing, Angie? And I said, I'm taking in the moment. This is my made it moment right now. Yeah. That I'm enjoying that the redhead who couldn't sell, because Eileen Ford told me I was not going to make it, is in this room doing the Chanel show with Carl Lagerfeld and all these other gorgeous women. I, I was just really impressed by that. So, yeah, because I mean I just, uh, that uh, that group to me was like my favorite. Like if you look at like your favorite SNL group, like that, yeah. that was the time <laughs> where like supermodels were super. You know? Right when Naomi, Naomi was pushing people off the stage. Yeah, but you could get away phones. with that, and you expected oh, she, it. Oh, she got away with it, Linda Evangelista. Yeah, and we we were making a lot of money every day just to. The quote was, I don't get out of bed for less than $10,000 a day. Man, God damn it. That's great, isn't it? That's America <laughs> right there, isn't it? That's amazing. Well, what's it like now? I, I feel like there's, because of social media, so many people get, uh, quote unquote, discovered that normally wouldn't have, that there's probably a lot more competition now. Plus, there's so much, the, the, it's not just a certain type of woman anymore. Like everybody's involved mm -hmm. a little bit. So it's got to be, there's no way they're getting paid that much anymore. And by the way, what he's no, skirting there's around. A lot, it, there's, there's, it, it happened in phases actually, mm -hmm. because it happened first with Kate Moss. Yeah. Because 
when it was voluptuous. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm, I'm not by any means super voluptuous, but I have boobs and I have a butt. And Kate Moss came and it was all about the androgynous. Hair and chic. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah. really, I, I was doing 20 shows a season, which would mean 20 shows in New York, Milan, and Paris. And it went down to five. Wow. Wow. Cindy couldn't get, we couldn't get hired. We, we did the, the big ones that still liked women, but they, it really dropped to androgynous male men. Like, they look like little boys. Yeah. Yeah, slick back hair. That was a big thing. Look like little boys. And then now the trend. And I, I just, I cannot pass for a little boy. Well, if you try hard enough, if you put, Dan does it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do it with that attitude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You've got to dream it to achieve it, Angie. That's the well, saying on this show. When I was in sixth grade, I passed for a little boy. That the, one of my teachers chased me into the girls' room and said, this is a girls' room. And I'm like, but I am a girl. But you were taller because you're like 5'10". Can so you, I'm sure, I'm like sure you were taller yeah, than everybody can else. Can you dunk? Yes or no? Football? I mean, oh, basketball? basketball? No. Basketball, yeah. No, you can't. No. She can't dunk. Why not? A lot of, oh, she's white. A oh, white that, woman is, can't yeah. dunk. Yeah. That's true. I, I said a football. They, they actually made a, mo <laughs> <laughs> they made a movie about white women not being able to dunk, right? They did. It's they called Tu Wong Fu or something. Is that it? <laughs> Thanks for everything. Love, Julie Newmar. There it is. Yeah. Uh, I, keep, I get these. R.I.P. Yeah, Swayze. R.I.P. Swayze. No, but today's models, like they're they're trying to get... The, the oh they don't you don't have to conform to be a model anymore so it's like there was one girl that was like 300 pounds and she was modeling right mm -hmm. that was not the thing back in the day because I, I i feel like oh God, no. you're not just modeling you're just a normal person then at that point and it's like why call it modeling just call it people putting on clothes strangers because you got trans the the, the other mm -hmm. girl who was no lie what was she two 50 or 260 mm -hmm. and they were like this is what we're going into just normal people doing things and those that's the real model and it's like no, that's just a normal person doing something like, you know? I do know. Uh, we did a lot of starving in my generation. Yeah. I mean, I, I would go right before the show season. I would probably not eat for about four days. And I mean, I really starved myself to be skinny. Mm -hmm. I, because I come from a family of big boned women. Mm, people, I should yeah. say that we're not really big boned. We just enjoy food yeah. yeah exactly well isn't the thing isn't the trend now like there's two there, it's it's kind of branched off so you're either uh what, what's the word fat or you're like a fit <laughs> mom is. yeah like fit mom is the there trend is. now too right oh yeah like there's all these I, I haven't i don't understand why that hasn't made its way into the model supermodel industry like fit women in their tw late well, 20s i think and their women early 30s. Like now super fit, like, are super fit i think yeah. women are really conscious about their weight their mm -hmm. you know because there's so many, and I have a theory about this because they want to keep their husbands. Maybe, yeah. You know, it's funny. My wife says that all the time. You know, Dude, it, you, you, for real. Look, she, I wouldn't want my husband to get all beer bellied out on me either. Yeah. I just wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want, you know, just to like let himself go and not care about how he represents himself. You yeah. know, I, I like somebody who cares about their, their, their body. Yeah. You know, my, I mean, my, a little bit is fine, but not you know too much yeah not, not uh yeah my wife says that all the time she'll be like look if you don't take care of your man when you're married they'll find someone else who can who can will. suck a dick and cook a steak that's what she <laughs> says all the time and i'm like yeah that, that's true it's true um like but and it goes both steaks. ways though oh on. yeah for 100 percent, 100 percent it does yeah so for like for dudes um the people you've been married to right mm -hmm. um they would never let themselves go you probably had some some form of agreement of like hey you're not no, going to do that or. Yeah, I've, I've, I married pretty. Pretty. Good looking. Yeah, you have. I did. Yeah, you dab. You, you also dated Joe Pesci for like eight years though, oh. didn't you? No, we dated. It was, only a, it was only a couple months. We were just really good friends. And then, and then it happened. But it, it, Joe's, Joe's one of my really good friends. I adore him. He is a, he's a king. What do you think about this new movie that's coming out? Yeah. I mean, it's like the most all-star cast. Irishman? Yeah, yeah, it's the most all star cast. My friend cast wrote that. Ever. So I was on set. I went to set. Oh, shit. Really? really? So yeah, Pesci's it's... back and he's in it. Yeah. Oh, he was so unhappy about being there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, you just got to know Joe. Well, I, it's interesting you say that. So we, we tried to hire him for a movie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because he still had an agent. He wouldn't do it. No. No. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. And no. so, and his agent said, look, don't take offense to your movie or anything yeah, don't. like that. No, he just doesn't. He just, did, he just didn't want to act He doesn't want to act. And he didn't want to do this movie. 
And so how did they get him to do it then? It's Scorsese. It's Martin Scorsese. Yeah. yeah. And Scorsese. Robert De Niro, you know, I mean, come on. And Al Pacino, Jesus Christ. And the supporting cast is crazy, too. And Jay Stefan, who is a good friend of ours, mm-hmm. and he was one of the producers on it. And I think Jay had a big part of why he did the movie. Coaxing him into it? Yeah, yeah I think so. I saw him in the trailer friends, You know, it's a, it's a yeah. bunch of friends pushing friends to do yeah. something. Well, look, Joe's one of the do best actors great. of our generation. He's, he's one of the best everything. Like, he's so good. I gotta tell you, for everybody always says, oh my God, I can't believe you're with Joe Pesci, but he's one of the fucking coolest guys mm. I've ever met in my life. It's just a bummer that he's short and smokes. Yeah. God, <laughs> girls hate short guys, don't they? Ah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I I'd rather be, be tall, yeah. for sure, because I'm tall, mm. but... I, you know, just with Joe, it never bothered me. I don't know. I always put my arm around him, <laughs> around his neck. What about? I don't know. That what height about, difference what about, is massive. Yeah, that's a huge. Like, what is he's he, like he five three maybe five three? Yeah. Oh, has he got a hammer on him? No, I'm not saying <laughs> that. I'm just saying he made up for another for in other ways. He's just a good guy. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Because I've had we've had girls on the show be like, look, man, I dated so and so. I was like, ah, really? And they'd be like, I hit a hog on him. Hit a hog on him, and I was like, one of our one of our friends, Aline. Yeah, uh, is five nine five ten. Uh, she's like half white, half Malaysian, and she's super into five foot five Mexican dudes. Really? Like, yeah. I have no idea why. I mean, no, yeah. people like what they like. I don't give a shit. But right. that's that seems strange for a woman. You got you got to think. I, and you could probably talk speak more to this. But growing up tall as a woman can be it. uncomfortable sometimes. No, it's not uncomfortable at all. I wear high heels all the time. Yeah, you. Do. I love being tall. I don't care if you're shorter than me. I I I mean. If, dating if, wise yeah. i'd rather ha- date taller for sure but yeah i like walking in i walk tall i walk <laughs> i like that i walk tall i like mm-hmm. it yeah god I, I walk tall and you can dunk a football so it's good yeah she can dunk <laughs> a football she walks tall you know i have four older brothers they're gonna be so mortified by that oh uh, yeah gonna, i'm gonna, gonna need terrible. their contact uh, info because i'm sending them a recording of this yeah. yes you do and the clips uh jamie sent the video clip as well of her <laughs> saying she could dunk, dunk a, a football, football to her brothers and then the rest of her family. That and was just she nerves, stated. guys. I mean, to no, be fair, fine. the, the goalpost is 10 feet tall, right? Yeah. So it's the yeah. same. Close enough. I don't Close think enough. I could dunk yeah. a football or a basketball. We'll, we'll get you there. Yeah, again. <laughs> That's what we do. This, this isn't even a Believe podcast. Believe to achieve. Think locally. Act globally. Yeah. You will do it. This and isn't even really it. a podcast. Where, well, where I could trainers, if you give me a so. bathtub. <laughs> I wow. could dunk it. Yeah. I, I, there was another way I thought that combo was going, and it did not. So I'm not uh-huh. going to press it. Yeah. Uh, no, but what, what I want to what I want to say is is I miss your era, and mm-hmm. I miss that era of not only all, all those models, but the way it used to be, the way Sports Illustrated used to be. That used to be mm-hmm. the hot thing. I feel like it all went to shit once social Julie media Campbell. started. Once Julie Campbell left, but social media has a lot to do with that. I mean, because it gives access to everybody. Mm. And I look at it like, why are, why is Jack Nicholson and Joe Pesci and all these guys, why are they famous? Because they are really special human beings and have great talent. Right. And social media opened the doors to mediocrity so that anybody who's got Photoshop can put up a picture and it's not really them. They're changing their images and their lengths of their hair and mm-hmm. the color of their eyes. And, you know, we were that. Right. And, you know, when I was doing Sports Illustrated, they didn't Photoshop us. No. They, I mean, some pictures at the end mm. probably were, but I, I mean, very little. That whole it airbrushing beyond, thing started like in the mid 2000s, I think. People yeah. started to get butthurt about that. I think part of this is just reflective of our outrage Olympics culture. Like people are like, you can't have a standard of beauty. That's not, that's offensive. Yeah. Right. So we have to muck it up and like add everybody. It's, it's all inclusive. No, look, some people like you can't dunk a football. Yeah. <laughs> I can't throw a baseball hundred miles per hour. Uh, you can't run a four, two, 40. Go, well, no, I, I can and I can't. No, you can't and you can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the point. Like you can't, some people aren't some things and some people can't do some things. Right. right? Yeah, like I, I remember when Me- Megan Trainer was on the cover of a magazine, and she was really pissed off that they photoshopped her to be skinnier. She was yeah, like, she's like, "I am who I am. That's man. not I who wrote, I am. That's not whatever." I'm telling you out there. Well, see, I think that the I think that's great though, because if you if you're a heavy set girl and you feel good about yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. Because I think the sexiest thing in the world is self confidence. Mm-hmm. I mean, truly, I think that 
a girl that is a big girl who thinks she's sexy. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I love when women own who they are. So, but don't you want the best picture? Well, that's why they called them models. Yeah, the it is. Because it was the model of a, the type. So, you know, if you look it up in the dictionary, it's, it's the best of, right? And it's, you know, I do want to see perfection. I, I really appreciate when people work hard and make their body look rocking. Yeah. Now, because you're still in, I mean, you look almost zero different than you did when you got started, I feel like. <laughs> I look a lot different. When we pulled well, you into the started, studio today, you, you were you on got... the phone outside, and I was like, God damn. That's still Angie motherfucking Everhart out there. Like, she's a supermodel, you know? Not just a model, because we've had Instagram models on this show before, but a real-life supermodel. Yeah, you guys, I have super in front of my name. Yeah. Like an Oscar winner, you know? You don't, get, you don't drop that. You don't drop the super, <laughs> right? Is it on your ID? Can Let me see your driver's license. It doesn't say super. Oh, that's stupid. It should. Yeah, you should have it a little, not. you know it's how like, like you doctor. have, a, you have yeah. that thing on the back that says you're an organ donor? You should have one that says supermodel super on the Supermodel, yeah. Supermodel. And every, anytime Angie you get pulled over, you just whip that thing out. It's like, oh, shit. I can look you up on the internet and see some great pictures. So. You were super. I get pulled over and they're like, hey, you look like that girl. That mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, the, oh, the super one? Yeah. Yeah, I am her. I am her. She's probably stopped I'm like, writing no, that she's ticket. taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> so how crazy was it back in the day? Uh, was it as wild as you hear? Because everybody thinks of supermodels back in the day and they're like, yachts, cocaine, yes. parties. Probably. All, all of that all the way around. All the way above. Because you great. guys were the most rock stars. famous people on the planet. You guys were, you guys yeah. were rock stars. I mean, all I you took guys. a summer and went boat hopping, literally from yacht to yacht to yacht to yacht. It was awesome. Some of the, <laughs> it was. So I, my friends had boats, and I was like, I knew that I wanted to have a kid coming up. Mm. Sure. And so I took a summer and just went boat hopping. I said, invite me, and I'll show up on your boat. And I got invited to almost every person that I knew here who had a boat. And I went. And I, it was the best summer ever. The he, summer of Everhart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how hard did you go? It was about as, it was great. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it was great. It was a great, great, wonderful time. I, I wouldn't trade my life for anything. For all the hardships that I've gone through. Because, I mean, I've almost died a, like 15 times. But yeah, you've got a little bit is... of a wild streak in you. Like you get out of being a supermodel and just start jumping out of fucking airplanes. That's I not, did. I that's took not a year typical. Off and... That's not typical behavior. I took a year honestly. off and I met these crazy guys called skydivers and they were free flyers. Yeah. And I just loved the spirit. And Have I you was... done wingsuiting or any of that shit? Yep. Wow. That's, yep. That, that's too intense for me. It was, it was a time of my life that I'll, you know, I'll... I'll cherish forever mm -hmm. because I went all around the world. And I mean, I jumped out of a biplane. Oh, wow. That's when, cool. when it was zero G's. Yeah, yeah. My foot, and I didn't count on the plane really pushing me down. Mm -hmm. And my foot got stuck on the side. And the guy's like, and I, and I was in Brazil. And he's like, jump. And we're going over and over and over. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get stuck. I'm going to get hit by this plane. Yeah. Finally, I work my foot loose and I'm flipping through the air, trying to put my shoe back on. And I, not a good thing. No, that's not good. Pull. Pull. Don't that's panic. That's the main... Yeah. And Don't panic. Lost my shoe. Well, you, did you ever get it back? I lived. You no. Can buy, you can buy new shoes, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Never found the shoe. Where, where was it? What country was that in? It was in Brazil. 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 So anybody out in Brazil, if you can find Angie's shoe, uh, <laughs> we'll give you a $10,000 reward. What year was it? No idea. You betcha. We'll say 98, <laughs> 1998, Angie's shoe, somewhere in Brazil. Yeah. Send it into the show. We'll give you 10K. How about that? That's funny. You'll Was it a kid? You'll get, you'll get all kinds of random shit. Was it a kid? Yeah. Adidas. Oh, really? You and Adidas? I was, a, I was sponsored by Adidas for a long time. Really? You and James Harden, right? I like back, that. You know, back in the day, Adidas used to send anybody who was going to do events, they would send clothes to, you know. And I play in a lot of celebrity golf tournaments, so I do get a lot of golf. Are you a good attire. golfer? I won Michael Jordan's golf tournament with John Schmoltz. Stop. Did oh, you really? I love John Schmoltz, I did. by the way. He's, he's a great golfer. He's very good. He's, he may be as good at golfing as he was at Ooh, He's on the baseball. senior tour. Yeah. Yeah. He's legit. He's, he is one of the most amazing golfers, and he's the nicest guy. And he has this thing. Every time if I would hit a bad shot, he'd, he'd look at me. He'd be like, PMA, Angie. Positive mental attitude. 
Well, you know why, right? Yeah. He had the, he had the yips when he was playing baseball for after the Braves. After his divorce, yeah. Yeah, after his divorce. Well, was it 92? Uh, yes. And he was a starter, starting pitcher. He had the yips and kept throwing balls into the backstop. Had to get psychological. There was a sports psychologist. Um, and that's what kind of blew up that field because he was the first one to come out and say, hey, yeah. I did this. I studied with this sports psychologist. Right. It helped me. And then he came back as an amazing closer. Right. His career was incredible. but Super long. Yeah. Uh, um, but it was really, really surprising. So I'm sure that's why. Awesome. I think he's one of. Attitude. I think yeah. he's one of two people that have 150 wins and 150 saves. It's him and Eckersley, I believe. Yes. Yeah. He's dude. He's oh, rad. Autism. What, what were you shooting? Yeah. Like, what, was your, what was your handicap? <laughs> golf. Um, <laughs> yeah. I play like I'm handicapped. I'm terrible at golf. <laughs> it. Well, I'm. You know, I just don't play enough to have a good handicap. So I go in at these tournaments at about a 25, 24. Okay. And I just, I mean, literally I play golf at the, at the tournaments, but I've been playing since I was five. So I have a real natural swing. And as long as I get, I can outdrive a lot of guys. If I what? get a good, if I get a good tee shot. I, so I did Hank Haney, right? I did the Hank Haney show. He was, yeah. the, he was a caddy for, for, Tiger. for, for, for Tiger. Yep. He had me on television, and I hit a 320-yard drive. No oh, wow. way. It was insane. It was the longest I'd ever hit, and I have it on film. So it was – and he told me, he said, you know, I could get you on the women's tour if you wanted. And it's just not – That's a lot any, of work. It, yeah, it's, just, it's it all would Asians now. It the fun out of golf. I yeah. wouldn't want to do that. Like, who wants it's to just, do it competitively? Not me. No. Yeah, it's, it's me, all – Because I like to golf. It's all Asians now uh, playing f uh, women's and golf. And yeah, that one – really like, She's young. like – That yeah, girl's 15 young. years old. I think they're, I think they're genetically changed <laughs> just yeah, so maybe. they can be good at golf. Yeah. And these girls are amazing. Man, those girls. It's, it's crazy. And that's why the interest is gone out of it because – that's all it is. So it's not American. So yeah. Americans stop watching. My dad was watching. named after Bobby Jones, the yeah, the golfer, and I named mm -hmm. my son Caden Bobby. Oh, after Bobby Jones. Yeah. So you're that that big a fan of of golf? Yeah. I do like you watch golf. it now? My parents watch it. I, I if it's on, I'll watch it with them. But it's not something that I would put on in my. I'm house. not. A, I don't understand how people watch golf on television. Honestly, I love it. It's do relaxing. You, it's like baseball. Don't, you don't play it no That's no I, so for me when i'm quote unquote relaxing at home usually i'm playing a video game and i have a movie on my ipad at the same time and i'm intermittently texting because my brain is always firing so i have to keep it completely distracted right on multiple levels otherwise i'll be trying to think of something remember <laughs> something or some bullshit like that that's why so that's Dan's not relaxed. married, by the way. It He's is, got yeah. 90 things that's, in his lap. That's the, that's the reason. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's none of the other red flags. No, <laughs> no. That's the, you've got 90 things well, you in your like lap. You sound like you can multitask. Most guys can't multitask. That's true. There's a book called The Myth of Multitasking, and there's a, there's a case study they did in it where you give uh, a male parent and a female parent, you have a child, mm -hmm. and five minutes to get them ready in the morning. So you have to, like... Get their lunch out of the refrigerator. Make sure they're dressed. Make their lunch. Yeah. Or, yeah, whatever the case <laughs> is. So and then you have, to, you have to completely get them ready and get out of the house. The average time for a woman was two minutes, 25 seconds. The average time for a man was seven and a half minutes. I get it. I, I try to get my kids ready for school. For, yeah. Forget it. I end up talking to them about nonsense. Yeah. And uh, I get sidetracked. I, I, I get it. My wife's in and out of there with the kids. Yeah. Me, I'm not. Because I, I take women a, are more efficient than men for sure. Yeah. Well, I take time with their hair too. Like I want them to look cool. Oh, well. even though he's five, and I'm like, I don't me, know why. Me too. Yeah, I do I'm that like, too. He even though he's five, if well, I, his hair's purple right now. Well, that's fine. If I if I had a child, they would be dressed like uh, an adult all the time. That's yes. one of my favorite things. Are children that are dressed like adults? He loves I it. I love it. I don't know why. So my kid gets ready for picture day and he yeah. comes down he's wearing a shirt and a bow tie it was the cutest thing i've ever seen i mean this kid melts me yeah he just melts me he's the best thing in my life why the bow tie nation of islam <laughs> <laughs> is that right no 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 so you guys not, he's not a not nation of islam Come no on, guys. he just he liked the on? bow tie <laughs> so he he likes the bow ties i don't know he, that's awesome. Was cute. So did uh, the Honorable six. Elijah Muhammad. But he was six. six Look, it's either a Nation a of Islam or it's Tucker Carlson. They're the only two people that wear. That can pull off a bow tie. And or, my or son. The Redenbacher. Or Orville Redenbacher. Yeah. yeah, the Redenbacher family was yeah. big in a bow tie as were, well. Yeah. 
I like the bow tie. I have a Boston Terrier. They look like they're in a little tuxedo already. I put a bow tie hey, on him. He you looks guys are going to cause a, a riff here. I'm going to get mad because you're making fun of my kid right now. No, we're no, not no. at all. He, he actually <laughs> enjoys the bow tie. I love it. I yeah. think it takes a certain man because, look, look, we live in the South. It is very prevalent in the South. Right? Bow ties? Yes. They're at the cotillion oh, really? stuff, oh, every, all the formal events. Yeah. Every formal event you go to, I would say there's probably 10 dudes yeah. um, who are wearing bow ties. Like we yeah. went to a firefighter thing, what, three months ago, and uh -huh. there was a couple guys wearing bow ties. There was a couple yeah. guys wearing It doesn't yeah. bother me at all. And here's no, the cool. debate we look. have is it takes a certain man to be able to pull off a bow tie with confidence. You got to well, have big he, dick energy is what it is. Yes. Yeah. A lot of BDE. BDE. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's six. <laughs> well, and it was really it doesn't it really starts early cute. yeah i bet it was that's uh, seriously one of my favorite things are children dressed as adults yeah he loves it's it. hilarious <laughs> yeah to he's me. very it's very jack white of you you know he makes his entire band dress up the his back in band really in suits and, and bowler hats and they have to wear that out in public oh man all day oh, long geez. yeah um, so he can't see them out without the the bowler hats on what i like uh, are kids with like a pair of fucking nice slacks and thames on Button down shirt. Yeah. That's do what you I own like. a button down shirt? Do I? Yeah. Because you look like a t shirt and flip flops kind of guy. Man, this is super offensive right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dan fought and died for this country, Angie. And that's the way you treat him? That's yeah. not very super at all. I do, actually. I have a lot of suits. I used to do work you? for the government. So, but okay. I mean, why would I dress up to do this stupid ass show? Yeah, why, yeah, yeah. Why exactly. Not? Look, because our fans don't like that. Oh, really? No. No, they're going to be super mad to see him wearing that. Uh, well, I because I did a fancy interview before we got on here. I was on Angie's show. Speaking yes. of which, tell everybody the name of your podcast. My podcast is called Conversations with Angie Everhart, mm -hmm. and we are launching in the next couple of weeks. I don't have an exact date because we just shot the yeah. first couple. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it was me, Orlando Jones. Mm -hmm. Who else do you hope to get on that show? I, you know, Andy. I want to get some. I want to get some really great women as yeah. well. So I'm, you know, I'm looking for some strong women. I just want inspirational stories, and like I, Casey I, Anthony or somebody like that. My, <laughs> yeah, I I want inspiration. I want what makes people their their secret sauce and where they you know made their left turn in life instead of just going on to you know just trucking along. There has to be that you know that moment of clarity when you when something happens in your life and you go a different, completely different direction. Right. And that moment is what I'm looking for because I just had that happen. So I, I want, I want to feel what other people are feeling. That, that I call it the secret sauce of their life. Sure. And are you still friends with like Cindy Crawford and them? You I'm thought about with, getting I, them on the show. I, I have a lot of girls that, that I'll ask to be on the show. I don't know if I'll ask Cindy, but what, who knows? Yeah, I'm, I'm open to having it. Cindy's really bright. Mm -hmm. She is, she is really, super smart, yeah. really bright. So she'd be a great guest. And she hit the husband jackpot with Randy Gerber. Come Did, on. Yeah. Man. He, Randy, I've known Randy forever. So Randy and my chiropractor, Evan, are like the, their best friends. And he, Randy loved Cindy forever. That was his girl. Yeah. And she was, you know, she was dating somebody else and he got, he finally, you know, he finally got her and. Sealed the deal. Yeah. Well, it, she was dating, if I remember correctly, Richard Gere during the gerbil incident. <laughs> she was dating, I think she was dating Val Kilmer when uh, Randy came along. Oh, really? What happened? So. Where's Val Kilmer? Uh, he, he, he's cancer. Oh, that's oh, no. throat cancer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. So he kind of went off the scene. He's in the new Top Gun movie. Um, he is it a cameo or is he a major actor? I'm role? assuming it's a, it's a cameo because he's starting to get his, uh, his voice back. Oh, so if no. you hear him speak, yeah, he had a hole in his throat for a while. He was wearing scarves. He's um, one of those guys. Because I, they, they, I had thyroid cancer. Yeah. And they told me that my voice would change. And it went down. Yeah, we see how deep my voice is. Yeah. But it went to this now. It, I think I went down an octave. <laughs> I, it wouldn't surprise me. His, yeah, his kind of went up and uh, he's... That's too bad. For he's, a, yeah, he's for doing the guy. best he can with it because. It, it, but he's alive. Yeah. He is. He's Hopefully alive. He comes you know, when back, you when you hear actor. you have cancer, it's like the worst day of your life. So it's like the grim reaper. Grim reaper is in the room. Yeah, he's a really funny Twitter page. Like he's a really funny guy. Really? Yeah, and so I thought he's one person I haven't come across or met <laughs> or. I met him, but it was it was weird. It was a weird circumstance. Like we were, I was at an Oscar party, and I think he was on acid, and that's no lie. 
Um, cause it, like I saw, so Val Kilmer to me was like my end all be all like, um, right. not only Top Gun, but real genius. Real genius is my be. That's one Tombstone, of the best movies though, ever. I've seen. Yeah. I'll be your Huckleberry. Exactly. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, that's, so that's my top five. Seen it 800 times probably. Yeah. I know love every single but word Heat, of Tombstone. I mean, he's I been in too. so many great Heat. movies. He's been in some weird movies, but he's been. I like uh, The Saints. The, the Saints. Doors. He's been yes. in so many great movies. Like he's Incredible. amazing. So I see him sitting by himself at this party. And, you know, I was maybe living out there two years at this point. And so I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to go talk to Val Kilmer. Like, he's all alone. Nobody's sitting with him at this empty table. Um, so I came and sat down next to him. I was like, hey, I'm a big fan, you know. Mm -hmm. Just got my first movie and super excited about it. And he was drinking and just kind of rubbing this glass. And he goes, what do you think of her? I was like, uh, what do I think of who? And he goes, my girl. Isn't she beautiful dancing out there? And, I, and he points, and it, there's one girl on the dance floor. No one else is on the dance floor. This girl in a red dress, like, dancing super sexy by herself, mm-hmm. only for him. And I was like, yeah, she's hot. Like, <laughs> so the, so the, they, were, they were both on acid then, probably. I think yeah. so. They had, they I genuinely think so, yeah. So I was like, cool, cool, man. And then I sat next to him for, like, two minutes, neither of us saying Said anything, a word. watching his girlfriend or wife or whoever it was dance for us on a dance floor. And I was like... Good talk. I'm going to okay, pick her on up and get her out the door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm out of here. But the sad thing about it for me he was. He rendered you speechless. He did. And, and, That's and hard to do. Because he, he was my favorite dude. Yeah. yeah um, and then. The, and you know, I always tell people, if you have a favorite celebrity, don't meet them. Yeah. Who was your favorite that you met? Because clearly you've got a story here, right? Yeah. You've met everybody. I've met a I. I, I you know, I've been in L.A. for a yeah. lot of years now, so yeah. I've met. There's, I can tell you who I haven't met more than I. You so know, who I who did you meet that you were disappointed by? I want names. Yeah, we want names. We definitely because I'll tell you names if you want. Like the complete disappointment, and there was others that you hear weird stories about, and you were like, "Oh man, that guy was super cool." I have I have a couple that were. Who are the disappointments? Really I, yeah, you can't. Oh. We'll go name for name if you want. No, we're, we're good. <laughs> you won't say it. Okay. Uh, who were some of the best people you met where you were like, oh, man, that's the greatest person I've ever met, and I'm super well, grateful. Well, Joe's one of them for yeah, sure. Yeah, I knew she was going to say Pesci. Yeah. I mean, I've heard that from other people, too, that he's like, it, because of the roles he plays, he plays Joe's. a fucking maniac asshole in pretty much everything he's in, but he seems to be like a oh, super thoughtful, a, he's nice such guy, a right? a good guy. Joe, uh, George Clooney is really fun. Pimpy dude. I mean, yeah. he's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. Just, he's part a, of that Randy Gerber crew. Yeah. They're, be- they're besties. He they just are. sold that tequila company for, what, $3 billion? Billion. Yeah. It that was... would be a good paycheck. Oh, I know, right? Can you imagine seeing that? You heard what he did with the money, right? No. He gave 12 of his best friends. Uh, they took him to dinner, and then he brought a suitcase with a million dollars in cash in it for each one of them. Good for him. And said, hey, uh, here's the deal. I've been fortunate enough. Some of you guys haven't been. Right. I'm going to give you this million dollars and I'm going to pay all the taxes on it. So it's a true million. Yeah. Right. But the one rule is none of you can say no to it. And one of the guys was Randy Gerber and he was just like, dude, I don't, I don't need the money. Like whatever. Right. And he goes, we'll give it to charity. I don't care what you do with it, but all 12 of you have to accept the cash. I always wonder why more people don't do that. Same. Like what, what could you possibly do? Like Bill Gates. Well, what could you do with $80 billion? What could you even do with that amount I hear, of money? I, mean, I hear Bezos is, is a terrible tipper. Yeah. yeah. Like he's the well, he, richest guy in did the you, world. He, you heard what his wife did after they broke up. She took the money and gave half of it to fucking charity yeah. just to piss <laughs> him off. He's a rock star. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah. She's a rock star. But I, I know that. guys that you know, they work at Mr. Chow and say he's a horrible tipper. So they... they, they Strange. I just don't understand that at yeah. all. Be a I, giver. Yeah. Be what could giver. you do with Tiger. all that money? Tiger's another one. Tiger Woods, they said he's terrible at it too. Really? That's Yeah. I read this crazy story because he was training Th- with these That Navy doesn't make seals. any sense to me because if you're going uh, to live the kind of life that he was living in the 2000s <laughs> and 2010s, like if you're going to be out there gallivanting and being a dick, you got to take care of people so they'll keep their fucking mouth shut, right? Yeah. You would think so. One would think. Look up the Navy SEAL story because they're, they're, they outed him in this article. Because during the, the training, like after his father passed away, he wanted to hang yeah. out with like military vets. Yeah. And so he was hanging out with all these Navy SEALs and he was doing SEAL training and learning mm-hmm. and wanted to. Tiger said, was? Yeah. Said it would make his body better and his performance better, which it didn't. 
No, he's broken down now. And they and they said one night after dinner, like because they were like we weren't going to say no to Tiger Woods, right? Right. For him to come hang out. Right. And they went to dinner and it was like a like a cheap like seafood shack type of joint. And the check came and it was like eight of them. And, and he uh, didn't pay. No, Tiger said, "Can you split this up into eight? <gasps> oh my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "Yo, are you kidding me?" Um, but everybody said, "What's that. he worth? Like three, four hundred oh, million? God. Who knows at this point? I mean, I'm sure the wife took wasn't he the, half of that. He wasn't was worth eight hundred at I, the point of the divorce. So I'm guessing he's worth three to four hundred million at this yeah. point, right? I, I, I'm sure she got him. half. It was all his fault. Wasn't he the first billionaire? Um, Maybe athlete, for a little bit. Think, yeah, yeah, athlete. So. He was clo- he was close to being the. the I, think I think so. He was very very close. Uh, it might end probably be LeBron. Yeah, or Jordan. Jordan right. owns Nike stock. We don't know how much it's I worth. I love. No. I love. Michael, I just love. Are you him. friends with him in real I, life? I've done like four or five of his golf tournaments, and yeah, so you and I won. I have a tournament. That's that was like one of my greatest days. My parents were there, and I won a Michael Jordan tournament. That's amazing. That is a cherished trophy. That Look, I, keep. I mean, that's. That's. that's I don't even that care. That was a good day. I don't yeah. even care if he's a good person or not. Just to be in the presence of that amount of greatness would be a moment for anybody. He's I think, cool. Right? He's like, really cool during those. Well, I don't know. I don't know him. I don't either. I heard him, he gets high though. Oh, that's good for him because yeah. I do too. Yeah, I already gets baked. What? Don't yeah. judge. She's really judgy. Yeah, you don't I'm look not, like I'm, the kind I'm of guy that would wear a button-down shirt. <laughs> I'm just laughing. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Dan gets high all the I'm time. Sorry. I'm high right now. <laughs> yeah, we are. I, I we even forgot the sponsors. We got sponsors who pay for this whole shit wagon to be on. Well, the none air. of them will get you high, but well, <laughs> the, the first one, might ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. We got to get Angie a ghost bed. Yeah, we do. We got to get you. We got to get you on a ghost bed. That sounded bad. Um, <laughs> ghost bed. Yes. Go, have you, have you heard it sleeps so good it's scary. So yeah. That's, uh, well, all, what it does, it comes in a box. You uh-huh. Open it up, boom, you're ready to go. You don't have to go to a mattress store, all that other stuff. Nice. Uh, and then they, they offer 15% off to anybody who's military or first responder. Everything in the store. The ghost pillows, which yep. are That's great. almost better than the mattress. How do you return a bed? Uh, they'll come and get it for you. So yeah. after 30 days, if you don't like the bed, you leave yep. it on the front porch and they'll come and get it for you. Like no huh. shit, yeah. Yeah, really? yep. yeah it's amazing. I kind of want to do it. Just, just to, to but the return. I, I'm, uh, it's also a super like we have you have like what six ghost beds i have three correct it's ridiculous yeah yeah because yeah. i get i get kids so they get bunk beds so we got yeah. them, right well, the ghost bed for that too right so yep. we got we got the twins the tweeny twins uh-huh. uh go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today 36 ghostbed. months no interest pay as you go program no one on the interwebs is doing that today. And if you're a regular civilian like myself, they get crazy deals. That bundle package for seven ninety nine, dollars Stretch my shit out. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next up, Roman ED. This is the, we were talking about this before we went on air. Uh, that's the mm-hmm. erectile dysfunction drug. That's got to be big. It's got to be big in LA right now. Uh, Everybody's taking it. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Pun intended. Pun intended. Look, we I, Dan and I party on them. Yeah, I mean, uh, we take them. We take oh, yeah. them recreationally. Doesn't yeah. it make your heart be like all crazy? No, it's actually it's actually great yeah, for your we, heart. So all the commercials we, are tell that story. Yeah, we talked about this on the fake news, uh, which Doesn't is a show a we do. No, not at all. Huh. Uh, a lot of them do. A lot of them do. Right. Uh, but th- these don't. So, uh, the uh, cardiology college, which is so you like, when do you take it? You take it before you go. You pop you, it. You pop it before you go out. Yes. So some people do that. So you, you're walking hard on. Yeah. Well, like it's a. Did, yes, did, that's exactly this, what it is. Wouldn't you want to be in college again? This this no. drug is more like uh, Cialis, where Viagra you take it and you're hard for four hours. Whenever it kicks in, Cialis is like you're ready to be hard whenever you need to be. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's more convenient. I take it every three days, regardless. Just to keep you. Yeah. Keep because I it's like it's like taking steroids for me, but for my dick. Yeah. And that's a nice thing. Go to GetRoman.com. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alec. <laughs> Go to GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, discreet packaging. Let's ship it right to your house, your wife, your mistress. Your kids won't even know what it is. I mean, your wife's going to know, obviously, about four hours later. But yeah. oh, uh, yeah. give her the best weekend that you haven't yeah. given her in a long time. Yeah, that's better. Don't Sounds buy her great. flowers or chocolate. That's bullshit. Yeah. Boner. Give, give her, her that dick. Give her a real stiff one. Yes. See, you heard that from Angie Everhart, guys. Yeah. Correct. Quit fucking Get Roman.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, did, did I just say steroids for my dick in front of a supermodel? You did. Yeah. did. Okay, you did, good. which Let's, is nice. Can you uh, go ahead and write that down? Yep. Thanks. Uh, pull White that James. clip for Dan because that's going to be on his <laughs> reel for the rest of his life. 
Uh, <laughs> who, who else is left? Black Rifle Coffee. You bet that. You betcha. I'm all hopped up on coffee right now. So am I. Hop, coffee and dick pills all day for me. That's all you do. Yeah. That's all you do. Well, I smoke weed, too, to bring it back down. Eh, you got to level yourself out. Yeah. Uh, BlackRifle.com. Wow, that was terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Try that again. That's how much coffee I've had today. <laughs> I feel like I've had too much coffee today. Yeah, Because they sent over... That ammo pack, I've never seen it before. How big? It's, it's 96. So it's 96. Uh, yeah, it's uh, what is it called? The supply drop. So it's a big ass box of 96. It's assorted. I think it's four or five different uh, versions of the coffee. So you can test them all out if you're in an office. It works too. And obviously they have beans and, and ground coffee as well. Yeah, man. I took, I think I've had four of those because we got we a bunch of shows today. Yeah. I'm all hopped up on the coffee. It's good for you. Go to blackriflecoffee.com, promo code SUMMERDOG. Summer dog, twenty yeah. percent off, yep. or drinking bros twenty, whatever or, suits your fancy. A revolution, or yeah, join the coffee club. By the way, it's the best deal out there, best deal on the planet. And then uh, last I think but not I'm least, I'm going to join. You guys made that sound really good. It is it's some of the best, co- like it's really good. best coffee you on the planet. Like we're all, it, it's. I love. Coffee. We'll get you the story for, it, but Evan Hafer, Matt Best, JT, who's in the middle of that mm. sign right there, yep. started this. They're all coffee nerds, you know. Uh, I so love it's coffee. like it's really good. It's really good stuff. Big fan. Last but not least, Shutter dot com. S H U D D E R dot com. It is the horror for Netflix new channel. AMC put it out streaming uh, with the promo code Drinking Bros. You get it free for the first month. Every horror film you can imagine has been on there because we're going to get into your movies after this, <laughs> um, which I'm amped about. I haven't really done a horror movie. I, I mean, I do. Can't be. Can't be. Yeah. Movie, but not. I haven't done a horror. You haven't done a horror movie. Well, uh-uh. we'll, we'll get you in one. Yeah, then. we got to get you in one then. <laughs> uh, Shutter.com's got a, everything you need that'll scare the shit out of you. Um, every horror movie you could possibly imagine is there. They also yeah. got original movies, and again, it's free. So go to Shutter.com and then just type in the promo code Drinking Bros. Uh, you get thirty days for free if you like it. Five ninety nine yeah. after that. Here's what I recommend: uh, wake up in the morning. Stretch, stretch a little bit because oh, you, yeah. you don't want to pull a muscle. You don't. You definitely don't. <laughs> Drink that black rifle coffee. Get your yep. day started. Uh, make sure you pop a, a Roman. A Roman. Make sure your dick's ready for later on. Yep. Take your girl out. Bring her bring back. Bring her back. Watch Shutter. Watch a movie. Get on her all a go- scared. On a ghost bed. Yeah, on the ghost bed, and then you you know do whatever comes. And then naturally. you make love to her. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You guys need a lubricant. We do. You know, it's funny you say that. We were we, <laughs> we were trying. To, yeah, we were trying to get a sweet lube um, <laughs> in here. I think we're close. I think we're like we're at that level now of like you know, mm-hmm. five point four million listeners. Everybody needs a little. What's your go-to? You you like the water base? You like coconut oil? What's your thing? KY with a little heat to it. A little heat to yeah. it. So the his and hers KY. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A little warmth to that yeah. is is my jam. Yeah, I like that. Um, but spe- speaking of your movies, by the way, speaking this of is, this is gonna go back to my real. It's gonna go back to my real childhood. Uh-huh. You did a lot of movies on Cinemax as well. Oh, I've done a few. Yeah, I've done a few. And again, you were my fave in those. You did one with Richard Grieco. Yeah, that was that was explicit. I, I love it Richard Grieco. Really by the way, same here. And that's why I said. Did you see that episode? And you would of never always... know that I covered everything during those scenes. You would never know it. Are you serious? I mean, down below, yeah. Really? What, what do they do for movies like that? They have that like well, flesh colored. I taped. Bullshit, I right? always taped. Uh, flesh colored underwear. Okay. So that you couldn't see anything. And God, I didn't know that. Yeah, Steve yes. Howie was telling us about that bullshit and when he was on the show it, back in you March. You tape it so that there's no sides, so you tape it all the way around your legs. Okay. And underneath your legs and at the top, so they can only shoot down to a certain angle. And these guys, I don't know how, but they, they just, I mean, it was, that, that was. It was a science. Oh, yeah, that was a pretty crazy that's the kind of science i'm interested in yeah it really (laughs) is they don't teach enough of that at mit i don't know i don't feel that at all but but how is grieco we were we were big grieco fans as kids i he's he's a good one he is he really yeah he's a good guy i can tell he is because he was on an episode of this past season of it's always sunny and they were kind of making fun of his career but he's in the fucking season like he's really? he's taking part in the joke about himself. Yeah, no, I love when dudes guy. do. I love when people do that. I you like can tell him. That, Judd like, Nelson's another one. That's yeah, really he's fun. Yep. Funny. Like he's if him. if you can get out there and make fun of yourself on the longest running sitcom in human yeah. history, yeah. then you got to be a good person. Otherwise, there's no way if you're a like fragile or egotistical person, you could never do that. No, not so, at all. I'm a big Rico fan. I want to watch yep. Warmest movies. 
I'm, I want to meet him. I'm yeah. going to start dressing like him, maybe. Well, maybe have him on the show. We, we'd like to have Greco on the show. Yeah, yeah he'd be a He's got the guest. best name. That's the best last <laughs> name Greco. that I've ever heard in my Isn't life. Isn't it? Yeah. Greco. It, it sounds What's your like name, guy? Oh, Greco. it's Greco. Like, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> that was your name. Yeah. I apologize. Uh, Greco. Richard Greco is what it is. Yeah, so fuck James Bond. You better ask somebody yeah, you, well, <laughs> about Richard Greco. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you did a string. And he's not bad to look at either. No, no he's a good-looking dude. You know? He's still a good-looking dude. Is he? Did he? I don't, he's holding up? He looks the same as he did in the fucking 80s. I don't know if he's yeah. just had really good work done or if he's, like, if he's one of those guys. Great you know? genes, yeah. yeah. Some people are like that. Yeah. You know, you never know. Yeah. You never know with that. Like, you. Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, honestly. You look, amazing. you look identical to, to how you looked in 1990. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you do for that? How's your diet and all that stuff? Like, is that a big deal? Well, with me it is because I don't have a thyroid, so I'm constantly flipping up 10 pounds, down 10 pounds, constantly trying to figure out the medication I have to take. So I really have an issue with, with weight, but I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, what was it like going through cancer treatment and all that stuff? You know, I had one pity party. I had my girlfriend brought over a bottle of Jack Daniels, and we had a pity party and I wrote down a bunch of things just in case something went wrong for my son mm -hmm. and the next day I woke up with a hellacious hangover and an attitude a bad attitude towards fuck cancer right and I was going to battle it I wasn't going to sit idly and let it take me I, fuck cancer man it's the worst thing you ever want to hear in your life so I'm going to say it again fuck cancer yeah yeah because we've had a couple guys on the show who've had cancer before uh -huh. yeah our, our drinking bro of the year for uh 2018 patrick he, he's he's been battling cancer for fucking ever and this actually is a guy we had on the show what two months ago he's been doing the Mike same dixon, thing yeah, yeah dixon he's had cancer for fucking six years now yeah you know after ridiculous. the show let me tell you something because i know some people who are doing some great stuff okay yeah so we'll there's I'll, I'll tell you about it because sure. I've, I've been surrounding myself with scientists yeah yeah Smart people and I don't making, know why you pointed to him when you said smart. Well, because yeah. we were talking about smart people and who we liked having. Yeah, on. she knows, Dan. She <laughs> knows. We she were, knows. We were talking about it earlier. Is. <laughs> we were talking about it earlier. Definitely not, Dan. <laughs> but um, I've I've kind of made it my quest to pay it forward because people yeah. people were really 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 kind to me. Well, that's great. That if period. you if you have something, this has always been my opinion. If you have something, and this goes back to the having billions of dollars and not giving it to other people. If you have something great and you're, you don't, your first instinct is not to share it with other people, you're a fucking asshole, honestly. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to know people like that, that hoard money. Like Bezos, I'd slap that guy right in the face. Just like, <laughs> yeah. hey, Bezos, just smack him. Not really hard, just enough to let him know I'm there that I disapprove of his entire life. He got roided up, too. Did you see the pics of him? Oh, is he roided up? Oh, yeah. Like, like, uh, he, looks, he looks better than he used to, that's for sure. Oh, for good. sure. Look at the, yeah, if you look good. at the early pictures when they, yeah. he was first starting Amazon. <laughs> yeah. It looked like Homeboy was hiding in a basement um, as a mole or something. She definitely got paid. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she got. Like he shaved up. $70 which was, billion, yeah. dollars, right? Which was sweet because he had a bozo ring. I think it was 80, 80. by the way. I think she gave away 40. Yep, just to mm -hmm. piss him off. I love that. Oh, yeah. I like trolling and I like being nice to people, which Me is kind of weird, but I really those like are my it. two it's favorite so much things. much easier to be nice to people. Yeah. Oh, yeah it really is. It, it definitely but is. But not him. I Fuck had, him. I had a few big hair days when I was younger. I call him big hair because. Big head, big hair. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a few of those. Well, are we talking like Naomi Campbell? Um, Were you pushing I, people? Uh, no. <laughs> Slapping people around? No, but I did what I wanted, when I wanted, how I wanted for a long time. Wow. I think my son definitely made me a nicer person. I think all and kids And having do. cancer, by the way. Yeah. That, that opened my eyes to a, a lot. Yeah, I think all kids do that to you, where you're like, all right, great. Uh, and I'm not sure what the type of person I am. And then, boom, they come into your life, and you're like, oh, man. It was, it's, a, it's amazing. I never cried before my son. I was not a crier. And I, you know, now I'm like, <gasps> I see a movie, and I'll, I get all weepy. I'm like, what is, what's that? <laughs> yeah. How old is he right now? He's 10. Does he know that his mom is a supermodel? You know, it's, it's kind of weird. I don't. I make that as little as possible in our life. And sometimes people are like, hey, Angie, and they're complete strangers. And he's mm -hmm. like, how does that person know you, mom? I'm like, he doesn't. He's like, well, how does he know your name? I'm like, from my job. <laughs> and that's you as know? far as it and goes. I, just, I try to keep it as, as minimal as possible. But his friends know he's, you know, 
just it's it gets out, but it's you know he knows. It's he knows way different for Ross. Ross has all of his movie posters in his children's room. Yep, and I, ma- like, I make sure he they walks know. in every morning to wake them up. He goes, "Hey, I'm famous as shit." Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, "Wake up, wake up, you bastard! Do something <laughs> like I did with your life." You put your picture under, uh, under everything. Yeah. I kept all of my trophies since a child too, and I lined I lined them with that. I put I even put one on the set for Dan up there. Yeah. Boom. Dan said he was a great baseball player. I brought in one from fourth grade um, where I was the best. I was MVP. Yeah, I've got baseballs that have no hitter written on them. So yep. And that's, a, have, that's a reminder to Dan. I don't, have, I don't Dan. have participation trophies. Well, that was a reminder for Dan of my greatness. And because uh, some people need a little pep in their step, you know? It's true. Like before yeah. you leave here, um, I taped my picture inside your gasoline tank. Yeah. So when you open it up, you're going to see me and I'll be like, fuck, yep. I got to be better. I got to do better today. <laughs> are you still out in LA? I am. You are? Where at? Palisades? I live in the Palisades. God, that was a nice call by me. It was me. a good call. Um, yeah, not, and part of it's, I, I looked it up, obviously. I live by the beach. Uh, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, we were on whitepages.com looking for your address for like three hours yesterday. Well, because well, when my divorce, that. yeah, when my divorce goes through, obviously I need to know, yeah, I need course, to find yeah. you. So. I mean, really? Come on, guys. Yeah, no. I, the, reason, the reason why I ask is I, I feel like everybody gets out of the Hollywood Hills and all that stuff. Like, that's the younger funner part you know no i still live in the hollywood hills do you you got a house there too i'm messing with you oh really really? no i'm just not gonna tell you exactly where i live on the air oh no 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 no. but it's so a stalker it's so vast our our did you really oh my god our fans are the ones that show up and deal with stalkers oh we're all all military you can deal with stalkers because i I can't what happened did you come home and they were wearing your clothes uh, i was home and they climbed in one of the windows of my house you have a gun at the time, I didn't. And now you do. Yes. Good for you. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Um, was, it, was, it a guy or, was it a guy or a girl? I don't know. Yeah. They you just don't want to find came out, really. into the house. They came, climbed in one of the guest bed, bedrooms. Mm-hmm. And I sleep with the door locked. And he, they were shaking the door. And it was a good. I, you know, I instantly called 911. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he said, hey, I, I got a Dan Holloway in my house. And then it happened, it happened again, but the second time I was like, I have a, a weapon, so don't. What kind of gun do you have? Um, I had a shotgun and a, and a revolver and mm-hmm. a Glock. Good for you. That's a, I mean, got, I, yeah. my, dad, my dad put a gun in my hand at a very young age. So you know how to shoot age. well then. At a very That's young good, age. Yeah. So does so, Dan. Again. I, you bet. You I think the two of you guys. It would me it let's shoot great, somebody together a great it'll couple, be a bonding yeah. experience <laughs> what are you doing later <laughs> we're just gonna shoot ross at the end of the show <laughs> you, <laughs> it's really nice to meet you pop 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 yeah <laughs> send the legs i'm not gonna kill you didn't we share fun. a moment oh we did this i did this crazy podcast what happened i was weird uh we murdered the co-host <laughs> afterward like it was <laughs> great we had a really nice it's not time. murder if you're in on it i don't think ah, I, might, I may or, or may might not be you know yeah we'll see how it goes how do you feel as a hot white woman sitting next to a signed oj simpson jersey <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you've seen him walk lately on TV, but he's not chasing anybody down at this point. Well, he's still looking for the real killers. Yeah, and, he is. We're uh, helping him, that's actually. Important. Did you know her? No. Did you know OJ? No. I feel like everybody did. That's why I ask. Yeah. No, uh, I don't. I, I, know feel Kato. Like he, I feel like he wanted to know everybody. I know Kato. You do know Kato. I do. What's Kato up to these days? He's still cruising around still being. He's still he's, living off of being Kato, right? Kato is, and he's super funny. I mean, I've, yeah, he was, if you guys can get him on the show, he is I would so love to. Funny. I think he's hilarious. Like in baseball, he was super funny. That role he played as the announcer, the fucking, like. He really is. He's a nice, like always in a good mood. Yeah. Kind of, you know, it's Kato. Yeah. You know? it's, he's a nice guy. He did a cameo in a movie. I, I see him in a lot of golf tournaments. He yeah. plays golf or he plays he a lot of golf. hangs out? Well, he, he's there at the golf tournament, so I imagine he plays golf. Right. <laughs> Most guys don't just go and hang out at the golf tournaments if they don't play. Well, there Girls are some, will come because they'll come see the athletes. There but, are some like, celebrity-adjacent people who hang out at places a lot and don't really belong there. Yeah, are you familiar with any of these people? <laughs> Like Kato? Again, name names. <laughs> no, yeah, no. yeah. No, Definitely Kato's, name names. I, I, I've never heard anybody speak ill of Kato. Everybody that's, no, worked, he's a nice like, guy. that's worked with him or been around him says he's a pretty cool guy. He's Not aware him. that he's Kato. Yeah. And yeah. he uses, he's like, look, man, I'll do appearances till the day I die being Kato Kalen. Yeah. And he's fine with it. Yeah. Um, well, why not be? I mean, shit, if that's who you are. It's such a crazy way to be famous, though, just sleeping in some dude's house that murdered a couple people. You know? <laughs> well, that's some Isn't that wild. Some comedian does a good joke Yikes. about uh, uh, Goldman's dad because of the mustache and how recognizable he is. He's like, he's now known as the Goldman's dad. So people see him in public and they're like, 
I fucking know that guy. And they're I like, know. hey, I, I remember you from somewhere. And the guy, that's got to be terrible for him. He's like, yeah, my fucking kid got killed. Yeah. Asshole. And that's his, how you remember me. His yeah. sister now has a huge podcast. It's really? like number 23. Golden sister? Yes. And it's uh, it's it's called like Searching for OJ or it's, it's something to that. And she hosts it. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's it, got crazy stories. Is that real? It. Yes. It's it's massive. It's a huge podcast. So she was on uh, the Today Show talking about wow. it. I'm gonna look and that up. She talked. She talked about how she was in a parking garage in L.A. and saw him, and she was in her car, and the car was on, and she thought about just running him over and killing him. Um, and I think she talks about that on her show. But uh, that's intense. You know, I if somebody killed my kid, I think I'd have it in me. Yeah. Same. A hundred percent. Right. I think I would have it in well, me. I mean, I, I mean, that's just not going Sometimes on. people get shot because they're just standing but... in the way. So yeah. Definitely if they're fucking with your family, you got to fuck them up, right? Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. If, if, Mama if, Bear if, would definitely kick in. If, if somebody, yeah, if somebody killed one of my kids. I, I don't would think I would be one second. of those people that is like understanding. I forgave them. Fuck that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I couldn't do it. No. Why would you? I'm sorry. I just. I, <laughs> My son was joking around the other day. He was like, yeah, and what if I died? I said, well, then I'm coming with you. <laughs> yeah, because you would take your own life, right? Oh, God, I'd walk in front of him. I would. I, I'd give mine for his in, in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even, not even a heartbeat, less than that. Yeah, if my dogs get sick, it yeah. ruins my whole day. Wait till you, well, so wait till you have a kid. It's, because, you I know, I, I traveled with dogs forever. Oh. And I, and I used to say that my, my dog was my kid. I named yeah. my dog, Sir Edward Van Halen. The second he was like the coolest little dog ever. <laughs> what, did he play at all? Yeah, no, did he, play he, the guitar? Just, he just was. What kind of dog though. was it? Maltese. It was yeah, a Maltese. Yeah. But Man. it was a dog that I could take everywhere around yeah, yeah. the world. So That's what was, Dan has. Dan's just, got two little know, girl I've dogs. Got, I've got Boston Terriers, yeah. yeah. It's called yeah. The, they're, they're the American gentlemen. That's uh, their name. They're little so. girl dogs Pete is what they Pete. are. <laughs> uh, no, the names are Jay and Morty, actually. Oh, Jay and Morty. Thanks for making fun of me. <laughs> yeah. Again. That's the only nothing thing that we'll harassment get, from this one. I know. The time. That's the only thing I will get to Dan, by the way, is this dog. I had two fish named Pete and repeat. Did you really? Yeah. Fish. That's a weird pet. I don't know why anybody, I don't trust anybody with fish. Yeah. Or lizards or snakes. Those are the three that are, I'm just, I don't get it. Because you well, can't take I'm a fish out and play with it. My, well, you can watch them. You can, but. I like the, I, I I like the really fish. nice aquariums. Those are kind of cool. I loved my fish. They live forever. Really? I, uh, they do. I, and you know, what's funny is they'll, they get to know you. If you have fish, it's really strange. But, you know, they come to the, I don't know. I loved having fish. It's very relaxing for I want me. a dolphin. Yeah, he wants a dolphin. I want to keep a sea turtle in my bathtub. Um, oh, and then just turn on the shower and throw turtles. it heads of lettuce, you know? And that's kind of the whole, and they live to like 86. No, 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 no. Oh, sea turtles, they that. live like 150, 200 years. Yeah. Exactly. So either way, uh, they're going to outlive me. Really I'm not going to, I'll never get sad over their death. Yeah. Because they're going to outlive me. And uh, yeah, I, I, I can bathe around my, them. I feel my only real problem with my dogs is, is that uh, they're real dumb. And I feel like if I, because I'm probably going to die alone. I feel like when I die, they're just going to eat my body. Do you know what I mean? The dogs, yeah. Do you that worry just about happens. that at all? Yeah. That just happened, by the way. No. It's going to be like the birds. Well, I, I have a there's just going to be a femur dog, lying around. I, and he, there's, I, you know, unless he's really hungry, but every dog would do it. Yeah. Yeah. They and would. especially you. Like, <laughs> let's be honest. It. Like, you were hot. Mm-hmm. And the dog, like, if Do you, you think had that, to eat that, a human. You think that factors would, in? No. Yes. No. How hot the person is? So, no. hypothetical, we all go down in a plane crash, right? Everybody in this room. Yeah. Me, you, Jamie, Alec. Homegirl, boom, I'm eating you first. Like, without question, no, no, I'm no. going to you first. <laughs> I'm going for the biggest protein source. I mean, Are you right? really? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not at all. I got to go, go by looks first and then work my way down. Jamie's yeah, definitely it. last. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. That's true. Yeah, exactly. Our producer, Jamie, yeah. I, I'm sorry, buddy. You're the last one I'm eating. Not that I don't trust you or anything, but obviously there's a supermodel, and then there's you. I go, I go supermodel. To be honest, maybe if I thought I was going to live. Poor Jamie. <laughs> yeah well we'll see we'll see how it goes if i thought i was gonna live i would probably eat you first for the story like ah. how did you guys stay alive oh we ate angie everhard yeah, yeah. i'm so glad i came on <laughs> yeah, your the show supermodel, yeah we ate the supermodel like that's how You're we live isn't it amazing me. we yeah. had a vote and it was just like look that those other two Let's guys are dead to, and she's still alive but she's a supermodel back to the erectile dysfunction yeah shall we <laughs> get roman.com no i'm kidding so with your new show uh before we wrap this up here yeah. who's your dream guest 
to have on? Because there's got to be a list. I, I know we have ours. Yep. Um, one of them's Post Malone. Yep. We were dying to get Posty on the show. I just saw his head. We posted on our Instagram. His head's on a Bud Light can for the fall. We love Post Malone. Yep. Trying to get him on. Rogan. We're trying to get on Joe Rogan. More of a Bud Heavy guy myself, but I mm. like Post Malone. Same. Same. I like Post Malone. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Who's your dream guest that you want to get on your show? Oprah? Because I know you're big in inspiration. Yes. Um, you know, one of my, my first couple that I was thinking, I, I like Sharon Stone. Ah. And she went through a similar thing that you did. You know that, right? Yeah. She I had like a, uh, a stroke mm -hmm. and then she was nuked out of the business for like five years. And believe it or not, I would like to have Chris Kardashian on the show just because I think that she's got stories. Boy, does and she ever. she's a social media just guru. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, do you think you could unpack her stories from the fact that she's used to living her life in reality t TV now? Does, does she even have normal conversations anymore? I don't. You, I, you know, when I, because I, I did their show. Yeah. And I went on with Bruce mm -hmm. when he was Bruce. Yeah. And she, and I said, look, I'm not going to come on the show unless, unless I talk to Chris because I'm not, I'm not a home wrecker. Yeah. And she called me up and she couldn't have been any cooler. She called me off up off camera and it, it she said look we're just trying to have some fun on the show and you know we'll just you know she she, we, she did the rundown of what we were going to do and and i just thought she was great i think they're all geniuses to be honest and she's super smart the rich as shit too and mar marketing genius yeah it's her yeah it's her she understood how to monetize social media and she changed the entire business oh yeah big time and it's because of her, and I would love to interview her. Just, I mean, I don't necessarily believe in what the Kardashians and are all doing, but, you know, I would rather have a different role model as a girl growing up. Sure. But. You mean than Caitlyn? <laughs> Blam <laughs> Blammo! Nailed it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and well, I mean, it's just, just you know, being famous for a porn is... You know, you know what the Kardashian name was famous though beforehand? Full yes. circle moment. OJ, OJ. repping OJ. Um, because yes. she was there when I watched that uh, that 10 part doc series that ended up winning the Oscar on OJ. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Chris Kardashian was like in the courtroom, she was really good friends with Nicole, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's Selma what Blair split up their relationship yeah. was because he was repping OJ and she was friends with Nicole. And she was like, I can't support this that you, you're right. representing a murder, a double murder. Uh, that we know of, you know? Yeah. There might be somebody else in there. You got to think. And if, her friend. Oh, yeah. 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 Like her BFF. Yeah. That was her crew, yeah. That was her whole best <laughs> season. There's always been that rumor that uh, Chloe was OJ's kid. Although I don't, I don't put much stock in I've that. heard that rumor. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, she's so much rumor. taller than everybody else in the group. And looks nothing like any of them. I know. What if it was Juice's kid? <laughs> Man, could you believe that? That would be the ultimate reality twist, like right when the ratings are going down, because he's out of jail now. You pull him back in, you'd be like, guess what, Chloe? You might want to sit down. And, Chris and goes, then they open the door and, and OJ's like, there. Psych? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm that would be the ultimate power move on that. <laughs> Oof. I yeah. Don't, I don't think Chris would ever do that. No. Even if it was nope. true, I don't think she would do it for an, any amount of money. I, right? don't, I don't think so either. If you like, how much more money can they make, really? Like, when, when do you just get tired of all them? Like, hey, we've made a billion dollars, like literally a billion dollars. Let's just go live on an island somewhere and, and fuck off from this whole bullshit. Well, the son is done with it pretty much. He yeah. only sells what, Rob? socks or something. Yeah, and he, he doesn't do, he's not on camera anymore. I don't know. I don't know what they're... I, I, don't, I really don't follow a lot of their stuff, but I like her. Gotcha. So Who else is on that? I just like the genius of what she did. Yeah, yeah. Who else is on that list and for you? And Hillary Clinton. Really? Not that I like her, because okay. I didn't vote for her, but I'd like to interview her. Who'd you vote for? Of, Let's get into personal shit. I didn't shit. vote that year. And tell me all the fucking I people in Hollywood I that you hate and who you voted I didn't, for. I did <laughs> not kidding. vote that year because I know Donald personally, Yeah. and I didn't vote for Hillary. Really? So, so you know Donald Trump personally? Yes. I have his phone number on my phone. All right, let's get that. You're quick. kidding. I've known him for 20 some years. Well, he's been or involved in that, all the so. pageant stuff for years. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've known, I, I, I knew him before he married Marla. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were, it was like a whole crew of people that lived yeah, you're in talking New about York Marla and, Maples, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, and I love Marla. I did a TV show with her and she's like the nicest woman in the world that 
I, I, I just still to this day, I don't understand how she did that. Uh, uh, that she was married to him? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I, I met him a couple of times. He seemed like a good dude, but I didn't know him. I, I don't know him the way you did. <laughs> so there's, there's I, no I, opened the, I opened the World Cup of, um, golf with, mm-hmm. with Donald. And my parents were there, and he walked right up to my mom and dad. And he said, you know, I tried to date your daughter, but she wanted nothing to do with me. And I looked at him, and I went, I still don't. <laughs> really? <laughs> was he behind yeah, the scenes? My... Was he a dirtbag? What was the sitch? He put my name in page six right away cause that, we, that we had were dating. And I had only just met him. And he called me up, and I was because I was staying at the Plaza Hotel mm-hmm. whenever I flew in from Paris because I was living in Paris. I would live at the Plaza. And he... He filled the room with roses, but it was the wrong room. So, he, and then I met him at a party, and he had it posted in the post mm-hmm. that I was dating him, and called me the next morning and said, well, "What do you think?" And I said, "Don't ever do that again." That's really wow. Don't do that again because it's not cool because it's not true, and I just thought it was really rude. Yeah, it's a little rude, yeah. So after that, no, con- no contact, no conversation after that? Well, I shot him down pretty hard. Yeah. No, that's a pretty, that's a pretty bold shoot down right there. But, you know, he was, he, and he wasn't as rude as he is now. He's, he's pretty, you know, he's the most powerful man in the world, I guess. Yeah. I think it's just part of his whole sh- shtick now. Like, the people I know that meet him casually... Since he's been a politician, I mean, he's pretty nice to people for the most part, unless you're a reporter. Yeah. Then, then he talks open shit to you. Uh, but I don't know. I don't, he's I don't really, never been bad to me. I, I don't really care. He's one never way or been the other. bad to me. Uh, I don't know. The, I don't he's know that you can be always a, been nice to me every time I see him. Yeah. I don't I don't know that you can be like super rich like that from the time you're a child and come out normal. I don't know if you can or not. You know what I mean? Like it's very it's few and far between the people who have super rich parents turn out to be normal, decent mm. human beings. Usually they end up being fucking drug addicts or some kind of crazy bullshit. That's yeah, you've had some crazy run-ins with people uh, in, in Hollywood. I mean, the, the Harvey Weinstein thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's true. That guy, man. Yeah. How, is, how has somebody not clipped him yet? Honestly, like, I'm not telling anybody to go he clip Harvey me. Weinstein, but I feel like... Like, truly, he scares me. I've, I, made, I said what I had to say, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, because it was... He's yeah, a dirtbag. What, what I read um, was that it He's was kind of a similar stitch that happened to other people where... Uh, and you can correct this if it's incorrect, but he, he had masturbated in front of you and then said, look, don't tell anybody about this, and then just took off, right? Pretty much. That's crazy. I, like, I don't understand did you how, know him at the time? Well, how or why. What the fuck goes through somebody's head that that seems like some, a good idea to do that? Well, did you know him at the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you knew him I pretty knew well. Him. I, knew, I mean, I knew him. We were, we were going to the same events all the time. Yeah. So. But he, he scares me, so... Were, were, were you guys he's, in a hotel a, or something? And like he was staying in the hotel? Like, uh, as I read the article. Let's just move on. I, this is one thing I hate. I really don't like talking about it. Oh, yeah. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. He's just a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's, by he's all a, accounts. He's, he's a peach. <laughs> yeah. Well, and well, the, re- the reason why I wanted to chat about it was like, you know, people like him, mm-hmm. we've known for years and years and years that right. this is who he was. Um, and it's, it is not surprising. Any of the shit that's coming out. Is not surprising whatsoever uh, to me. Obviously, that's not to why you. I said anybody who knows him knew it was going on. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. A lot of the actors are like, "I can't believe it's been going on so long," and people, that's are, total people, are, people are pretending BS like it's like a fucking thing. Because anybody who knows Harvey knows that that's yeah. how he was. So, but well, I don't understand that, man. That's like pathological shit. I don't understand how it took this long no. to, for for all of that to to go down like that. There's yeah. the, the only thing, because now I hate all the girls that are coming out and just being over the top, okay, yeah. and, and excusing men for no reason, and, you know, I have brothers. The only good thing I feel like is that p- people are finally listening to women, yeah. that we have a, 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 a say to say no, that no doesn't mean yes. No means no. No means no. Because if you have daughters or kids, you know, no means no, because it goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Girls can do the same thing to guys yeah, and, and take advantage of a situation. So, you know, there's some gnarly girls out there. I, I was just at a gas station and I saw this girl get out of her car and start beating on this guy. 
saying, you have a gun, you have a gun. And, and I was standing there with my buddy and he's like, look, my hands are in my pocket. I didn't hit her. I didn't hit her. I didn't hit her. Do you see it? I didn't hit her. And, <clears throat> and my friend stayed to make a statement because, you know. I would, yeah, it, too. It, it was the nice thing to do. Yeah. Because I, I, just, I think that guys are getting a raw deal right now being accused and it's just the way it is. Right. You know, that sucks to me. But guys like Harvey, that, you know, that's an investigation that went on and it should have happened a long time ago. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I don't believe in hell, but I would like that it, it would exist for people like that. Just fucking torture this dude for the rest of his life somewhere. Well, I think he's going to be tortured for the rest of his life. You think so? I mean, he's rich as shit. I think he might get off, actually. Um, I think, because I know, I know the, the, the main key witness who is going to testify against him in this upcoming trial, because most, a lot of those charges have been dropped, right? He's and the one a scary person, dude, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't, I, you know, I, he scares me. I think he, he gets, does. well, if you I get scared, you can, you can just come me. find one of us. I'll shoot that dude right in his fucking face. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Honestly. Dan, 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 when it comes down to the end of the, in the end of the day, it comes down to that guy's a fat old piece of shit, and I'm a goddamn gunfighter. I'll light his ass up if he <laughs> yeah. tries to fuck. If he tries to fuck with anybody, I know that's going to be a bad day for him. Did you hear that? Yeah, Dan's killed hundreds of people. That's though, not so true. That's, that's no. just another day at the job for Dan. No. What about Jeffrey Epstein? You ever meet him in passing? I have. What was his What was his sitch like? Because I, I read about him, and you see all of these pictures coming out. He was yeah. literally friends with the most famous people. Stephen Hawking. That's mm -hmm. the latest picture that's come out. He's, yeah. He's at a party with Stephen Hawking. Like, I well, doubt Stephen Hawking was up to anything unless he's just pushing buttons. I mean, I've been to Jeffrey's house. Yeah. So does that mean that I'm a pedophile or that yes. I'm, I'm into slavery? And, yeah. You know, no. It, it doesn't but seem like it was. he was traveling in circles that a lot of people travel that yeah. i know travel yeah and, and it doesn't mean that we knew what he was doing well that's the thing i was going to say it doesn't yeah. seem How like i know that it doesn't seem like what he was doing is as clear or as well known as what weinstein was doing all those years no. right no. so how do how do you do something that fucking crazy for that long and people just don't know about it i think with him because all the stuff that i'm reading about the ranch the yeah. plane like the, the private jets and all those things that that's they were shipping these girls in and out of with other dudes on them yeah. I've heard about that for a while, but it was kind of one of those Pizzagate type things where it was dismissed. And it it was seems like, oh, they... so crazy that you just can't believe. There's no fucking way a guy that's hanging out with the president of the United States is doing that. Yeah. But it turns out he was. And not, not, only, that, not only this president, but the last several, several presidents because yeah. he was no, a big donor. In the last few years, I have seen people do some of the craziest stuff. And I don't get surprised by anything anymore. That it's it just truly... There are some really whacked out people out there. So yeah. it doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> it really doesn't. Um, did I see it? No. It, it, it wasn't on. That, those kind of things just aren't even on my radar. I don't even, it doesn't even compute for me. So. I, I, yeah, my prediction you know is saying? this. I think when this trial happens, if he doesn't mm -hmm. die. He's going to kill himself. That's what I think too. I, I think, think he's tried, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if, if he's able to stay alive, because they're, they, they're already saying there's over a million pages of evidence, there's like documents. Some empires it. are going to crumble. That's what I think. Yeah. I think there's a lot more people that are super powerful that are going to be tied up in this. Mm. If it does go to trial, it's going to be one of the craziest events there Good, is. Good, because if you're doing that, you should be taken down. Oh, yeah. 100%. You should be taken down. Yeah. So... Uh, this, is, this is the end of the show where uh, we do the drinking bro or bro at of the week. It is somebody that has inspired you personally or helped you get to where you are. Richard mm -hmm. Grieco. Uh, it could be Grieco. <laughs> could be Grieco. Who is somebody that was inspirational in your life coming up that really helped you to, to get to, to who you are today? My parents. My parents are the coolest people in the world. And without them... I have suffered a lot. I've gone through so many things and my parents are just so rock solid and so supportive <laughs> that And they're still around? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. My Good. dad's eighty eight, he'll be in eighty nine this year. He always tells people I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ninety in fourteen months. <laughs> wow. So he's That's, counting down to yeah. ninety, yeah. He's yeah. like, I'm gonna be ninety and, and do they live in uh, California as well? No, they don't. They don't. They're in Ohio? Where they are they? They are not in Ohio. 
You're not going to say where your parents are? No. No. I'm we not. don't need to, Dan. I'm just curious where they, if they I'll look I'll tell closely. you later. But yeah, yeah, I, no, I, don't, <laughs> I don't really. I, I just. It's no, because I had somebody who did by. something to my parents. So I'm not. Oh, what I the don't, f- I don't That reveal. too. What yeah. the fuck? You've, like, you've one of the craziest lives of all time. Yeah. <laughs> that is. That's. Well, I had a stalker that, you know, wrote me a hundred letters in a week. Just forward those to me and I'll take care of that. And <laughs> then he started threatening my parents. And so I just don't. You know, that's I, don't, crazy. I hate disclo- disclosing stuff like that. No, 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 no. Absolutely. don't worry about it. I'm just, yeah. you know, I'm glad they're, they're, they're still just, around. They're just really good. happy, good people, and they inspired my life to be, you know, to be, you know, like my grandmother, always be a lady. And they're really good people, and they're, they love each other so much. It's like the happiest married couple. That How long have they been I together? Know. They've, for as a long as I can remember. years. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's the way, though, old grandparents used to be. Like, you know. Back in the day, yeah. yeah everybody was married for Our generation years. is not going to be like that. No. Well, they're all wor- worthless. It, it's going to be interesting to see what well, our grandchildren. Well, you look like you have a really nice marriage. You look really. On the really outside, it's for appearances, yeah, obviously. Yeah, they're on the rocks. Uh, on yeah, the rocks. No, you guys look, no, you guys look we are. like a great couple. <laughs> we are. We, we, but I yeah, was lucky enough to marry my best friend. We also host, obviously, a show together and all that stuff, so. Uh, yeah, I got lucky in that. But look, later on in life, who knows? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, she could mouth off, you know. <laughs> I, she'll, she'll give me a rap on the beak, you know, and I got I to gotta say sayonara, you know. You're funny. I got to find another blonde You're, out there to replace her on the show. So I'm hearing like Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 yeah. wah, 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 <laughs> That's wah, what I hear wah, all day. Wah. All day long. <laughs> Welcome to my life. All day long. Uh, Angie Everhart, thank you for being on the show. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. One of the best in the biz. Uh, the OG supermodels. The last of the. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. The, the true ones. The day ones. These new ones suck. Do they man. even say supermodel anymore? Does anybody use that phrase? No. Because I feel pro- like, to me, that's the 90s. It's probably super right? person. Like, I don't even think I about think it so. anymore. I think so. I think it's... They, I think they do. I mean, they... But they still name one super- current supermodel. Giselle? Name one. Yeah, but does she still she, do stuff? Is she, yeah. still, is she still going for it? Like, There's Kate Upton is the, the one that comes to mind, but... Uh, Kloss? I don't know. Carly Kloss? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's but about if you, it. Like... And ni- when There's I graduated just so high much school, competition though. So yeah, because you're up against so Instagram. Much, yeah, yeah, it, it's so yeah. much competition. Yeah, but back then your competition was not having the internet, right? Like that oh, makes it yeah. harder to know things. So back then, but if you ask anybody and in you 1990, have a lot more fun. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> in cool. 1999, if you would ask someone to name a supermodel, they could rattle off five or ten of them, yes. like without even thinking about it. Now I couldn't. I could tell you Giselle because she's married to Tom Brady. That's the only right. reason I know who she is. Yeah, that's true. Like honestly, that's the only reason. It's true. Uh, again, thank you for being yeah, here. Childhood crush. Dreams come true. Awesome. You'll probably walk off of this. I mean, I, these guys are crazy. Uh, one, <laughs> one, some dude said he would kill a bunch of people. Um, <laughs> for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. Andy Everhart. I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone.